A deadly multi-vehicle crash shut down part of I-675 early this morning. Clayton County Police say a man crossed lanes and ran head-on into oncoming traffic. Fox 5's Eric Perry is live near where the accident happened with what he's learning about what went down here on the highway. Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. Four cars involved in this accident. One driver is dead. Police are not sure if the driver that caused this accident had a medical emergency or might have been under the influence. This procession of tow trucks with mangled metal shows the aftermath of a horrific early morning crash Wednesday. It was just crazy. It was like a movie. This woman doesn't want to be identified, but was heading to work when she saw the crash near exit five. Clayton County police say it started when an off-duty officer noticed a driver in a black car parked in the median heading northbound on 675 just after 6 a.m. He knocked on the window. The driver appeared to be slumped over the wheel at first. He then uh, woke up, started looking at the officer, still appeared to be incoherent at the time, but never um, recognizing the officer's commands of opening up the door. That's when police say the driver took off, crossing the median, heading north in the southbound lanes, right into oncoming traffic. It was four cars involved. Uh, one car flipped over, um, totally uh, devastating. Also, one person was deceased on scene. The driver that the officer initially encountered was transported to the hospital. I thought it was a police car going that way, but it wasn't. It was a regular car. For those heading to work like this woman, it's an image she never thought or wanted to see. And all of a sudden, the car just spin up a little bit, and all you see was face head on with a black pickup truck. And you see it just a big old cloud of smoke just went up in the air and the wheels popped off the truck. I pulled over. I was running to the accident and I just, everything in me just stopped and I started praying. And from the looks of that truck and that car, I just knew whoever was in there, somebody didn't make it. Yeah, I'm back out here live. Police have not released the name of the person killed. They're waiting to notify the next of kin. We know the driver responsible for the crash was taken to the hospital. No words on any charges or his condition tonight, of course. Right now, well, police are not saying if it was under the influence or if it was a medical emergency, but they are continuing to investigate. In Clayton County, I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5 News. All right, we'll see what else we learn down the road. Thanks so much, Eric.